Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 3. So today, for most likely the last time, we'll be playing as King Rodri, who is now 68. Uh, he already lives longer than I expected. Uh, I would like to end the current war and then start one more. I think think if we can manage that I'll be pretty happy then for a while we'll have to relax because uh, uh, when how is the name of our heir um, when Prince Anarod becomes the king we will have to first stabilize the country again so we are currently sieging let's actually zoom in now we started uh, the siege of Galway. I'm thinking I could, but well, I don't know where the army of uh, our barbarian friend or, or barbarian Viking friend is right now. So I probably don't want to split up. Yeah, we'll just finish this siege and then move to his capital. Hopefully, they will give us enough score, or maybe we'll have to actually go. No, this is not his territory, so we can probably go into his capital quite easily. Okay, so let's unpause. Maybe we can even go faster. Oh, and I made two changes. Uh, actually, I forgot to do this because of all of the fighting that I was focused on. But I definitely have to start the first uh, converting uh, in Ireland. And then I need to start promoting culture in... Uh, uh, in uh, what used to be Mercy and Territory. So I switched the steward and the archbishop to different tasks. And I think, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I have to do anything else. Are we done? Oh, we are done. <clears throat> so what's the score? 43. Let's zoom in. Is anybody sieging here? Yes. Huh. That sucks. Okay, so we just move this way. How is the war score between... I think it's Alba, right? No, it's not Alba. It's this guy. 79%. Well, when he gets the capital, he should peace out. And then we will be able to... Uh, what is this? Nothing important. <clears throat> then we will be able to siege the capital again, get it for ourselves, and then enforce our demands. Okay, the war should end. There we go. Now I think it ended. No, that's a different one. But this war should end... Oh wait, what the... How the hell did the score go up? It was at minus 73, so I don't know, it's minus 50? What the hell? Oh wait. Uh, that's our score. Why the hell did this score change to minus 2? It was minus 73. Oh, okay. Oh, it's, it's the other way around. He is attacking. Okay, that makes sense. So this war will keep going for a while. Cam dispute. I've seen this before. So what's our chance here? 53. This one is worth some effort. So we need um, diplomacy, right? Well, plus two. Well, how much is it going to give us? 7%? Sure, I'll take it. And we managed to solve it again. Excellent. 
pense. Okay, this doesn't sound good. A Swedish king just joined. Well, he has 1,500 men. But together, they might be strong enough. I need to end this. We could try to still get a few perks here. Seventy-four. I basically just need to get his capital for myself. Let's just go there. Um, what's this? My grandson can marry. Which one is this? Who's your father? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. He isn't really super useful for anything. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Can we get maybe some claims out of this? Zoom out so that we have a better idea what those claims would be on. Yeah, we don't really need a claim here. We can just declare holy wars. That's interesting. And these alliances are not that strong. We try to take Cornwall. Huh. That's another war that we could declare. Holy crap! Why can't I siege it for myself? I thought I'd be just able <clears throat> to get it. Never mind. What if we go all the way north? I just need to get more territory to end this war faster. Finish faster. Yes. 
So I'll slow down a bit. But I still don't think... Actually, this might give me enough. What the hell is this? Twenty-seven, twenty-two, thirty. Yeah, we definitely finish the siege first. And all the more for Leicestershire lost thieves guild. Nice. We have eighty-seven percent. This might give us the remaining thirteen. Ah, oh, one percent off. And you have 10 days. Can we get 1% before he wins the siege and we lose like 50%? Is this guy useful for anything? Nope. Okay, let's keep him in prison. This one should survive long enough for my son to uh, execute him. Come on, give me 100%. Nope. Well, let's try again. Means I can just go faster. I hate when this happens. I needed probably like two more days. Sure that oh wait she is a spy master and I just learned her secret oh in that case I could probably get rid of this guy thanks to that but for these things I think it's a bit too late when I'm 70 years old I don't want to start anything that's gonna take, you know, years. So that's... Uh, this guy? Yeah, that's this guy. He hates me. Who is your heir? Is your heir better? Sure, why not? <clears throat> when I have the hook on his spy master, I'm gonna use it. I don't think this... Oh, it is enough. Finally. Oh, that was a pain in the ass. Force. Thank you. Now, we need to disband everything. It was like a thousand men just running around. Yeah. 
Now we have to find someone who gets the Isle of Man. I just want to like reward someone. It might be probably my marshal. He's already married to my daughter. And he did pretty good job. Yeah, let's let's give him the island. There, enjoy. His marshal went up even. Good. So we have 400 gold. We need to do something with that. It's not doing us any good just lying around. Um, I need to save some of it for my son. I don't think I want to spend 250 on creating a duchy. I think I'm just going to build another building. There already are crop fields. Oh, maybe I should have saved that and invest into a pilgrimage. How old is he? 40 already. Uh, that's bad. Unfortunately, I can't change the succession laws. This is the situation where the Ultimo Gen again, how is it? Ultimo Geniture, probably something like that is the pronunciation. Um, I apologize for like butchering some of the words, but these are not words that you like use every day in just normal speech. So from time to time, it catches me off guard a little bit. You have one or more powerful vassals who have a negative opinion of you and are blocking all succession laws. Yeah. But we don't have the tag for this anyway, so... Unfortunately, we can't really do anything here. Even if I got rid of him, I can imprison him. Just use a hook and imprison him. But then... Uh, you just get someone who is two years younger. So that doesn't really make a difference. And then this guy is 37, so... Again, not really much of a difference. We would have to get rid of all these three. And this one is 25. And they're already fighting. I'm not dead yet, and my sons are already fighting. You can usurp Jarldom of Mon. I don't really care. Because all that belongs to the Jarldom. 
is the island that I already have. How much would I have to pay? Yeah, two, 250. I don't care. If anything, I would rather like to destroy the uh, the duchy title here. Problem is that it lasts like 60 years to get rid of a title. Um... Really? There is no wallet target? Hmm, interesting. I thought that it would be possible. So, next. Do you have any alliances? Uh, here. You do have an alliance. And... Where is your homeland? Now, he only controls this one county. But I still think I should declare on Mercia first, because my son can take care of this. Uh, if I die, uh, the claim that I have in Mercia will disappear. Don't need to call our allies, that's for sure. And here we can just siege as quickly as possible. So we're gonna raise the army here. And do some carpet sieging. Oh, okay. I'm glad that I declared the war. So, King Rod Rod Rodri the Great is dead. I think his reign was more than successful. Created the kingdom, like tripled the, the territory, and left a very stable country for his son. And now the country becomes very unstable. So, continue. Church doesn't endorse us. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, I just took over the war. Uh, hmm, everybody hates us. Even my wife hates me. Great. At least my father left me with some pretty damn good... Uh, uh, people in the council. Just need to find a marshal. There, you can just take the same one. Your brother-in-law shirt. But holy crap, this guy is good. So we have the same council. This is who the hell? Is, why? Why does? Why does this guy hate me so much? Um. Okay. Definitely need to switch. What have I done? Guys, why do you all hate me? There's not a single person in the world that would like me. What's my chance to sway this guy? 78%. Okay, let's go for it. I want to be endorsed by church. Air unmarried. We need to fix that. How long is he? 22. Is he good at anything? No. We need to get some decent trades into, the, into this line. So, what we are looking at, looking for are inheritable trades. And we don't care about claims. Is there anybody with genius? 
There are some intelligent, but they're quite old. Nope. We could go for beautiful. <clears throat> I could... What the hell are you? Uh, lust oh, Lustful is nice. 25% fertility. It's a sin, but who cares? We need babies. She's pretty, so that's another... That's 45%. That's better than, than beautiful. Also, she is... Pretty damn good diplomat. The question is, this guy, we have to work with this guy as if uh, he was a king. But he is most likely going to be a king, unless I make some mistakes. So, we need to find him a wife that's going to help him in an area where he's going to need it. Which is, once again, most likely stewardship. So... It's still this one. Yeah, I think I should really go with her. Just... To get as many babies as possible we have to make sure <clears throat> that we always have heirs okay now we already have almost full strategist tree so just missing strategist itself it's just nice we have suppers i like that the focus, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be authority focus again. I really like the control growth and also dread gain. Speaking about dread, it's time to get some. Let's kill some prisoners. Oh, and we also have to get the court physician. Um. How much dread do I have? That's not me. How much dread do I have? Zero. Boom. You are also a Viking. Who is she exactly? Oh, wife of a dead chieftain. So. I guess she'll gladly join him in the afterlife. King 32 Dread. Holy crap. And you are... Oh, she's also... Of uh, as a true religion, hmm. But I feel bad executing her, especially because the execution is burning at stake. How much dread would you give me? Uh, where is it? Sixteen. I wish there was a way to change the execution method. I just feel so bad for doing this. Oh well, we are not role-playing here. I think if I was role-playing, I would just release her. I, I just... I don't know, I, I just... feel really bad for burning someone this young for basically no reason. But since we are playing for effectiveness... Uh, 
Okay, so suddenly we have 64 dread. That will help. Yeah, increase open in. I need to increase everyone's open in. I mean, what's better for open in of people than, than just burn a bunch of uh, heretics, right? Alliance with. That's my son. How many men does he have? 609. This is not a bad alliance. Yeah, I think I am gonna negotiate this alliance. We've already found him a wife. Uh, this is not important right now. Um, they will hate me for not having the seat on the council, but I need people who actually can do their job. Don't care about this. Titles can be created, we know that. You can transfer Lord Cadill of Ferlix. So, my brother gains for the opinion of me. Oh, it's just, oh, okay, okay, that's the war between my brothers. Um, but I don't mind doing this. Yeah, sure, let's do that. God, everybody is gonna hate me forever. I knew that uh, people won't really like me because of the short train, but this is bad. Look at that. Everybody hates me. <clears throat> Um, I should probably also check. No, I don't really need to check my daughters, and they are too, uh, too young for education, so that can wait. Oh, is it her? Yeah, this is my father's physician. She is 60. Hmm. Do we have anyone else who could take over after her death? No. Well, she's going to do her job for as long as possible, and then I will tr try to find another renowned physician. Next, let's check our knights. I have to make sure that the important people don't die in battle. Your half-brother and vassal. I don't care if he dies. He hates me. Your spy master. My spy master definitely has to stay safe. All of my knights here, that's okay. Uh, I definitely don't want my heir to die. My brother. Well, they will never be in battle because their skills are so low. But we may as well allow them to go into battle. I want to keep my marshal. My steward and chancellor will stay home. 
Okay, good. Uh, what else? My wife is going to help me with... That's a good question. Probably not... Uh, the domain management. We could go for the court politics. How are the numbers looking? 84. 4.78 didn't change For now, I think I'll go for chivalry. I'm not sure that that's also that useful because I don't want to lead my armies myself. What else is there? There's nothing else. I could just have her assist me at like everything. Let's do that for now. And um, Kaspar is now gonna be the leader of my armies. Also, what I'm gonna do, I will probably, oh, I can't use my brothers. Well, I can use some of them. Problem is they're horrible. Maybe I will, if they really are causing trouble in the future what I could do is create like a small units and always appoint one of my brother leader of the group and send them uh, on a suicide mission it feels a little bit like cheating but it could solve our problems later Okay, there is the alliance. Oh, that reminds me. We have an alliance with... That's my brother. And... That's my son. We need more alliances. Wessex. This feels wrong what I'm about to do. Can you maybe get the alliance here rather than ma marrying my daughter to my nephew? <clears throat> Arrange marriage of my daughter. And doesn't really matter which son it's gonna be, it's just important that it's one of his sons. 
So we get the alliance. He won't even accept Matril in there. Do we care? No, I think I'd rather have her at, at uh, the court of Alba. Okay, that's the uh, that's my son's marriage. I need the answer for the other one. There, alliance formed. Formed. Excellent. <clears throat> now I feel a little bit safer. How does it look like with the inheritance? Now it might be time to get rid of the King of Wessex. So... Let's try to find some secrets first. No, don't think I'm interested. Why am I trying to murder my brother? Let's finally unpause. I probably don't want to use my son here either, so let's just use another knight as a leader. and then I'm gonna send reinforcements. I should probably slow down for this. It's most likely going after this army, because it's by far the smallest. Also quite difficult to reinforce, or he's just fighting someone else. Okay, who did we capture? Let's make some money.
I have a feeling that getting all of this territory is still not gonna be enough, but once I'm done here, I'm just gonna send everything to the capital. a really profitable war. Uh, factions created. There we go. So that's one of my brothers created a faction to install... someone on the throne. And this is... My other brother created a faction to do the same thing. Yep. They're still too weak. All the factions are too weak. But they are there. Actually, this one is strong enough to send an ultimatum in 16 months. I have to keep that in mind to be ready for it. And now they will start creating carrot branches. Yep. There is nothing I can do against that. Also, it's not the end of the world. It just, well, happens. Uh, I can rent some prisoners. Oh, I just got them. Okay. How is the score? 66. 25. Sure. things happening. Probably have to slow down a little bit. Okay, this doesn't matter too much. Here we finished. Increase control in the Isle of Man. So that he just uh, made sure that his own county is in order. Good. could do and what we should do after the war ends we should go on pilgrimage how much would I have to pay for a feast 200 no I'm not good not gonna do that Well, I'll try to catch the Mercian army, which shouldn't be a problem. And we want to attack them. How do we want to attack them?
scandal, what happened? My daughter-in-law, Countess Tecla, has been showing the signs of pregnancy for some time now, and everyone thought that her husband, Prince Rodri... Crap, it's my son! No! And who the hell is this? Mer Asur of Lograno. Vassal in the kingdom of Asturias. Who the hell are you? Um, everyone thought that her husband was the father of the child. Now it's become clear that the real father uh, is Mar Asur. What a scandal. That's bad. Who is this? Here, some random nobody. Oh, they are both lustful, right? Mm. What? Oh, probably should have checked this. They are lovers and they were lovers for... Or they have been lovers for a pretty long time. Uh... Can't really do anything. It's up to my son to just ask for divorce. He now has the right. And I'm being raided? Really? Who? Unfortunately, I can't really do anything about the raid. Lovers, Who the, what the hell is this now? Oh, that's my spy master. Okay, I thought there were just more <clears throat> problems at court. While performing his duties as spy master, one just uncovered the secret held by Errol. Who the hell is this? After this episode, I will have to check the whole kingdom and make sure that I now know who is who. Forty-nine, sixty. Uh, whatever. Let them have some fun. Okay. I should be able to catch him in time. Eight hundred against twenty two hundred. Should be able to win that. 
My best commander is leading the army. Yeah, we'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, one of the factions actually disbanded. Nice. Do we have any more prisoners? Yes, one more. Who the hell are you? Worcestershire. Okay, let's force him to renounce the claim. And now we're gonna release him. But that was to be expected. New king that has how many? Like five or six brothers. Yep, this is what happens. Eighty-four, almost there. hundred percent Yes. There we go. So, this first successful war of the new king. Disband everything. What's the maximum? 2700. That's decent still. You have slightly lower, actually, significantly lower marshal. But 2700 is still something we can work with. The problem is the economy is now really bad. Without soldiers we are only making 3 gold per turn. But it's also because we are not endorsed by church. That's another like gold per turn probably. So in the end we'll be making like a half of what my father used to make. Hmm. Okay, let's make a cut here. As I said, I need to check everything to make sure I'm not missing something important. That I, to, I need to make sure that I understand who rules what, how much territory my brothers control. Because I already noticed that one of them controls a little bit more than I like. Um, these are the counties that belong, these three, that, that belong to... Actually, I think there are just two counties that belong to the Duchy of Powys. And I think... My brother here controls all of this, which is something that I don't like and I can't do anything about it.
I think I'll have to create Duchy of the Hellbards. So that's 250 gold gone. How much is the pilgrimage gonna cost me? And how far do we want to go? And we can check that next time. I think I'll just go to Rome, which should be like 125 gold, something like that. We desperately need to gain piety so we can declare uh, declare holy wars. And the pilgrimage should give us around 700-ish. And then we will see. It will all depend on what I find out as I check everything in between episodes. I think I'm going to record the next episode on Sunday. Because um, that way I'll have some more time to check everything. So there won't be any Crusader Kings for the next like two days. Yeah, we are done with this episode, so I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.